Hi there and welcome back to the Thoughtful Gaming channel. We are here to give you like 11 tips for great governors and great governor use. So what would you start with? Yeah, you start with the beginning. I've loaded up here a very in-depth game, very far in the future, but it's possible to see here everything you need for the start. So what would be great starting governors for your planets? Well, you need to, uh, you don't need to, but it would be very helpful to pick up a governor because they're gaining, from from the moment you use them, they're gaining experience. And the most helpful traits for the start are, of course, architectural interest, which you can see here, that small house. It gives you great building discount and less construction time used. Then, of course, the agrarian upbringing, which gives you a discount on, on farms, which you really should build first. And a bonus on food, which will also help you grow very quickly. Then the next one will be here, an iron fist. So if you're using slavery, this is a, just a great, a great trade to have. Increases your slave mineral output by 15% and your slave food output by 15% if, you, if you're using slavery. Then uh, this will basically increase your mineral output very much and also your food output. So um, make sure to use these iron fists if you're going for slaver anyways. Now the last one, I've looked a bit to find it, would be the environmental engineer. If you have absolutely no choice for the three um, that I already mentioned, then go for the environmental engineer, which will help you clear these blockers from your planets. So that are the, great, the greatest starting governors. Now um, for the tips. Now you have these governors or you have your governor. How do you yeah, profit from them? You notice here they have stars. At the start they have one star and at the end they have like five stars. That is the maximum. Each star brings you 2% happiness and uh, minus 5% build time and minus 6% clear blocker time. And it also makes you 2% more happy each of these stars. So you want them to level up. How do you do that? Well, there are multiple methods to do that. The most include like clearing blockers gives you some experience. Building buildings gives more experience and growing pops gives the most experience. So um, these are really the main things to go for if you want to level up these governors. And uh, yeah, also planetary edicts give a small amount of the resources spent to your governor as experience points. So if you want to level these up quickly, then make sure they are there when like a building is finished or when a blocker is actually cleared. The moment it is cleared, they will get the experience. So you can swap them around if you want certain governors to gain more of this precious experience. So um, more about the swapping techniques. The swapping techniques are very helpful. Once you have more than one leader, you could swap them. So if you swap for buildings, like if you're going to a planet like here, and to, you want to build a lot of buildings at the moment. Now, the cost of these buildings is actually accounted when, when you like order them. So if you want to save up a lot of minerals, put in an architectural interest guy. Like pay for all the buildings. And if your architectural interest guy is like already at five stars like this guy, then swap in another inexperienced governor for getting the experience when the buildings are finished. So um, that's one method. Another swapping in for buildings, especially at the start, would be to swap in that agrarian food uh, upbringing guy to get a discount on the farm cost. And uh, yeah, th so this is swapping for buildings. It's basically done with these two guys. And of course, uh, swapping for blockers includes your ever elusive environmental engineer. If you want to clear the blockers, then put this guy in, like click all the blockers, remove them if you have the resources, and you'll get that precious discount. That's a very nice method to have. Now, of course, you don't have to stack build. You can swap them around quite easily. Sometimes they'll have a 10 days travel time, but that's okay. And uh, you can wait for that to get that discount. It's very helpful in the long run. Especially 
if you're doing it from the start, then you'll gain a definitely, definitely an advantage. Now, um, if you want like something to be constructed more quickly, then you should go swap in these high level, um, these high level governors. As you can see here, construction time and the clear blocker time goes down significantly with a higher level. So um, you want really quick constructions, then like stay with that, <laughs> for example, that architectural interest guy that has maxed skill and you'll have buildings there in no time. So these guys at high levels are ideal for sectors, for sector controls, also because of their happiness, uh, of their happiness bonus. Now, um, we cannot <laughs> look at that there, but yeah, for sector control, of course, if you use slavery, also this guy will be good with his iron fist. And um, you can have, um, a swap in before building armies also. There's a trade that is called um, Army Veteran and it's mainly with military empires. So if you have a military empire, you will get these. And before you build armies, you'll get a, like a 20% discount on the armies and on the build time. Make sure to swap in the Army Vet Governor. Also, if you want to defend a planet, swap in the Army uh, Governor because it gives you plus 50% garrison health. So next thing would be to swap in the, the fleet officer. There's a retired fleet officer trade, which is also mostly in military empires. And that, that trade actually gives you great discounts on ships and, uh, and stuff like it gives you 20% more build speed. It gives you 10% less ship cost and 10% uh, less spaceport mod module costs. So if you want to upgrade these spaceports and if you want to like build uh, all the ships then swap in these guys. Definitely good for military sectors as well. So we're at number seven right now. So what is left there? What is left there? I'll show you in time. Here we have a lot of sectors here. Some of them ripe sectors like this one very old, very ripe sectors, some of them younger ones with colonies in them. So what what guys should you use for what sector? Well, it follows a certain logic and uh, you should definitely follow that logic if you want to if you want to be like quicker in your development and yeah, if you think about it, it's it's kind of obvious, but still one has to do it. So if you want to give over to an AI, like a colony sector or a very young sector that you want to develop quickly, these two guys are actually like the trump cards. Especially the agrarian upbringing guy, because it gives you more food and a less farm build cost. As the AI tends to overbuild farms to get population grow quickly. He'll also level up like there's no tomorrow because of that AI um, sector control. Then of course he's always a good choice with that building cost decrease, construction time decrease, uh, with the architectural interest. So that would be your guys for young or colony sectors. Also of course the Iron Fist is always kind of helpful if you're going for slavery and the envi environmental engineer will always also help. Just not such a great amount as these two guys here will help. So uh, what would you use for research sectors? Well, unfortunately we don't have one here, even though this is like a, <laughs> a very big selection of leaders, but there's a leader trait called intellectual. And that will give you just, just like 10% more research. So if you have a research sector, um, just go for that intellectual guy. It will help you. It's just it's just straightforward. Most most of these choices are kind of straightforward, but um, yeah, the AI development is something you have to factor in. And for ripe sectors, you should definitely use like again the Iron Fist guys if you use slavery, and also like you could use the intellectual guys or someone with a resilient lifespan or 
like whoever you want, but like the ripe sectors um, would be your sectors that deliver most. So you should go for high, high skill governors there. And they'll also not level up much. So you should go for the old guys with a, with a high skill and the, the great bonus like here that Iron Fist. So that would be very good for your older sectors, like in that case, um, our old Oriab sector here. Giving a lot of minerals, a lot of research, a lot of income. That would be great for an intellectual to have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but we have an architectural guy in there because we didn't find an intellectual. <laughs> so we just choose him anyways. And uh, now there are military sectors as well. I haven't defined one here because we're relatively peaceful usually. In military sectors you will have the AI build stations and all. And uh, also equip your planets with armies and all of all kind of that. So for these sectors you should definitely go for the retired fleet officer and the army veteran I mentioned at the start. And uh, then you'll have the perfect sectors going. So. Um, that were the 11 tips about the great governors. I hope they'll help you. I hope they, they covered something you didn't know yet. If you have other tips, or if you want to watch a nice Let's Play, please, yeah, either t tune in to the, to the Let's Play The Cthulhu Myth, which is this game of a thousand stars, and we're like getting deeper and deeper into the game. We have fallen empires and all kind of kinds of things there and if you have tips yourself for the for the governor choice or any tips please make sure to leave a comment and like impress us with your knowledge or like just help us out <laughs> i shall be happy to learn something new so um happy gaming to you this is emmanuel can signing out for now and uh, preparing for the next video which will be a little bit more in depth about the governors because there's much more to be said about them than just these 11 tips. So see you in the next episode of the tutorial or in the Let's Play. Have fun gaming and uh, yeah, have a nice time. Until then, 